What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released the 8th beta of macOS Sequoia 15 to developers, and they also released it to public beta testers this time around. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. We have a, something to talk about today, let's get started. Alright, the first one is that we got a brand new splash screen inside of Maps. Now, I cannot experience it again, but I did screen record on what it looks like. Now, I'm pretty sure this was earlier inside of iOS introduced but it must have been a bug that it was not on the mac on mac catalyst so they did bring it over to mac os sequoia here and it looks really nice i really like this splash screen to be honest apple did a really good job with this one now i am taking a look at build numbers for every single app in this list right here i'm not going to be including like settings for example since that will probably never change but we did get a couple of updated apps here however i cannot find any changes in these apps the apps are reminders and messages and also of course maps so these apps have been updated here inside this beta i'm going to try to keep track for now on inside of every single beta just to make sure we have every nice little change type it right there all right fixed but these are all the major apps that have gotten updates now unfortunately we still do not have a fix for the willy widgets app groups container bug that is of course inside of mac os 15.1 still and it's inside of beta 3 as well but in the meantime i could show you what will be next for apple and this is going to be a little bit interesting because we got a no leaked rumor saying that macOS Sequoia could come around iOS 18, if not on the same exact day. And I did do a poll on my channel asking, when will macOS 15.0 come out? And majority of you said that it's going to come out same exact day. So if this widget will load right here, could do that. I do not like iPhone widgets that much for this exact reason. I could just show you with a calendar. Alright, just as I was about to pull up a calendar, the widget finally loaded. So here is what I think will come next for Apple. So today is the 28th right here. I think macOS 15.1 will go on a weekly schedule here on the week of the 2nd. So I do expect to see that pretty soon in a couple of weeks. And then after that, of course, we're going to get an RC here on the 9th. And then interestingly enough, I think we are going to get macOS Sequoia on the same exact day as iOS 18, as we heard in that leak. Apparently someone at Apple told Mac rumors that 15.0 will be coming out on the same exact day, which is finally really nice to see. I've wanted this for so long, and we are actually finally getting it. So that is what we can expect here for a schedule. And now let's take a look at storage usage of the latest beta. So storage usage right here went down to 35.91 gigabytes. So that must be a good reason why we got this beta, so they could fix the storage issue that we've been having, which it looks like it's finally fixed here. Now that is macOS 15.0 right here. Really exciting update that we will be getting in a couple of weeks. With Windows snapping, it is pretty smooth besides the app group container issue, which looks like it will not be an issue with apps distributed on the App Store, so I will be distributing 3.0 of Willy Widgets on the App Store, and hopefully that should fix the issue for everyone. But yeah, thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, download my apps in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!